Hello students, in this video we are going to see that what is doping and what is Bernstein Moss effect which is related with the doping and why the red and blue shift occurs in the absorption spectrum uh, due to doping. So here in this uh, slide I have shown a, a graph where you can see absorbance versus wavelength. This is the graph of absorption spectrum of the some pure semiconductor oxide and the absorption spectrum after I have doped this semiconductor oxide with do some dopants with different concentration like 2%, 4%, 6% and 8%. So here this black line shows the absorption spectra spectrum of the pure compound. For example, it is titanium oxide. And uh, after doping with uh, some other element, for example, copper, uh, I see that this is the red line, which is the absorption spectrum of the dope material at 2% concentration of the dopant. So here you can easily see that this peak is shifted towards this side that is towards the higher wavelength and this is called as the red shift which is occurring at a 2% doping. Uh, so this red shift is uh, basically because of the increase, decrease in the band gap of the material and why it happens I have already explained it in another video. Uh, but you can see it on the left side here. Uh, in the case of titanium oxide, the conduction band is represented by the 3D states of titanium and valence band is represented by the 2P states of oxygen atom. And here you can see that original band gap is this one, this difference between the two states, the conduction band and the valence band. And when you dock the material, we have the reduction in the band gap because of the substates of the dopant material which are created and these substates are represented by these green lines which are actually called as the orbit tails and the substates of the materials are created here uh, below the conduction band and above the valent band of the material thus decreasing the original band gap to this value and this decrease in the band gap is represented in the absorption spectrum where you see a red shape in the absorption spectrum of the redoping. So now here the important thing is that you see that after increasing the concentration of dopant from 2% that is 4%, 6% and 8% here again you see that this peak is shifted backward towards the lower wavelength and this shift in the backward direction is called as the blue shift and it is occurring at the higher concentration of the dopant. So why we have the blue shift in this case? It means that we should have a higher band gap when we, when we are increasing the concentration of uh, these dopant materials. So what happens actually if you see on this left side and this is actually the valence band of the material and this is the conduction band of the material and after doping you have a reduction in the band gap like this for example which is represented by eg dash uh, what happens that when you increase the concentration of the dopant then the charge carriers increase in a, a pure material and these charge carriers they occupy the conduction band in a region which is called as the fermi level this is the highest level in which the electrons can be present in the conduction band. So as you increase the charge carrier concentrations by increasing the dopant amount, what happens that this Fermi level, it is filled and there is no space for more charge carrier. And when you further increase the dopant concentration, what happens that these charge carriers, they have to go up on the top side and thus increasing the apparent band gap of the material. So in that case, this apparent band gap will be equal to the delta E, which is this difference, plus the E gap dash, this one. So in this case, the band gap will increase because the electrons have, there is no space for the electrons to occupy in the lower position and they have to go up higher and higher and therefore the band gap increases. Now this increase in the band gap is represented in the absorption spectrum where you see a blue shift at the higher dopant levels. So this blue shift is basically called as the bursting mass effect and it occurs at the higher concentrations of the dopant and it is characterized by increase in the band gap of the material. So this is all about bursting mass effect. Thank you.